Welcome to Real Websites, Real Advice, the show where we look at websites and tell you if they're safe to use for your research. I'm Suspicious Sally. And I'm Skeptical Sue. We've both been burned by bad websites before, so we know how you feel. That's right. I once thought I could charge my iPhone by plugging it into an onion. And I thought all cats were girls and all dogs were boys. That doesn't make sense, Sue. But I saw it online. That just goes to show how careful you have to be when you're looking for information online. Anyone can post anything at any time. And there's no guarantee that anyone has checked it for accuracy. Unless you check it yourself. Why don't we do something different today? Instead of judging a bunch of websites, why don't we show our viewers how to judge them for themselves? Let's show them crap! Sally! Sue, crap is an acronym. I knew that. Crap is a simple but powerful set of criteria that can help you figure out whether or not a website is safe to use for your research. Currency. Is the information up to date? When was it posted? Is the website updated regularly? Relevant. Does the information relate to your research topic? Is it in depth enough for academic use? Authority. Is the author qualified to write about this topic? Look for subpages like About Me and try looking up the author in Google. Good authors list their contact information too. Accuracy. Is the information reliable? error-free and supported by evidence? Make sure that the author has cited their work. Purpose. Is the information presented objectively or could the author be trying to sell, entertain, or persuade? It's important to be aware of any potential biases. You can also use CRAP to analyze news reports, documentaries, books, and any other information you find offline or online. So get crapping and keep your marks happening. Thanks for watching.